guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am doing my top 10 Funko Pops of 2018. Now these are pops that I've picked up this year that I think are the best, are the ones that I have picked up, not in general, the, the general release, but just the ones I have picked up. So let's waste no more time and let's, and let's get into this Funko Top 10 of 2018. So coming in at number 10 guys is this him from the Powerpuff Girls. This is a Chase variant. This is the Chase variant of the Funko Pop. I picked this up about back in back at Comic Con in May and I really really think this is a great looking pop. I really like the character and I like the really bright colours of this character. It just makes it 10 times better for me that Funko made this a glow in the dark chase. It's a really really cool pop and I must do a review for, for this channel. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that but this is a great pop for me and he takes my number 10 spot. So coming in at number 9 guys is this Summer Conventions exclusive Cad Bane from Star Wars. Now this is a Funko Pop that I never expected us to get. It is a brilliant, brilliant pop and if we were going to get it, it was always going to be a Conventions exclusive. I mean I have reviewed this pop, I believe it's up on the channel and I really, really do like this pop. I think it's amazing detail, it's an amazing representation of the character with the, uh, the blue. The blue is a really, really cool blue on that. I love the hat as well it's a really well it's a massive hat in person and those red piercing eyes look great and this is a character that all star wars fans really did want to get in the collection because as you know cad bane is a great bounty hunter and he's just a fantastic pop overall guys and he's my number nine spot and if you haven't got him and you're a fan of star wars get out and make sure you pick yourself up a cad bane Coming in at number 8 is this Lando Calrissian Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop. Now this was one I picked up on EMP straight away as soon as it was up for release. I mean it's a fantastic pop. I really did like the solo film and it really did help me pick up this pop. I think this outfit in particular Lando's wearing with that, that really cool Hawaiian shirt with that nice white cape. I really really think this was a really cool design and it was really worthy of being an exclusive compared to the normal one with the black cape. I, I much prefer this. and I'm really glad they made this an exclusive and you can easily pick it up here in the UK. Um, Lando just it really spoke to me. This was a great pop. And it's one of my favourites of the year and he takes my number eight position on this list. And coming in, guys, at number seven is the Doctor Who Amy Pond Spring slash Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Now this was a pop that stuck in my mind for the whole year. I really, really, really love this character and I love her as an actress. Um, if you will check out my review, guys, it's on the channel, this pop. You can see why I like it. It's not the most detailed pop in the world, but that red, I love that red hair and that police uniform. And I really like the identif like you can identify who this character is when it's alongside your Doctor Who collection straight away. And this one stuck out to me this year. Uh, I really like the, um, the the freckles on the face, the whole detail of the, the, the police uniform. And um, I really just enjoyed this pop and it stuck with me for the whole year. And I thought to myself, that's going to get a place on my list. So it comes in at number seven, guys. And that's Amy Pond. Coming in at number six, guys, is Pickle Rick with Laser. Now, this was one of my, this was my favourite Rick and Morty pop of the year. And probably my favourite Pickle Rick pop, as you can tell, as it's in this list. I also picked up Pickle Rick with the screws on the hand. Normal Pickle Rick is just a pickle on the stand. That's a like amazing pop and then I, there, there was also another pickle rick that i passed on but i'll probably pick up in a future day but this one stole it for me the way with the laser and he's got the pickle bits stapled onto him where he was injured in the fight that's just that's brilliant detail on the part of rick and morty and funko and he's holding the battery and i just think this was a very the, the other one sort of leant forward a bit but this one stood up upright with the laser and i really did like this and the detailing and the color scheme is amazing and i'm really glad i've managed to get this one on my top 10 list at number six right guys coming in at number five is none other than cool holding meek now this for me was another fantastic pop it's a well well good sized 
Funko Pop of Korg, and I love the detail and the texture of Korg's like skin. Obviously, he's like a rock person. And I love that um, the fact he's holding Meek. We did get a normal Korg pop, and it just I didn't pick it up. It, I, I thought that the original one should have been released with Meek, and then they finally brought out in the fall this version with Korg holding Meek. And I think that's a more iconic version of the film, and I'm really really glad we got this, and I'm glad to add it to my number five position on my top ten countdown. Coming in at number four is another Spring Conventions exclusive or a MCM London Comic Con exclusive, Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. Now this was a pop that I was really, really after and when I saw it was exclusive to the MCM Comic Con, I had to queue up and pick up one of these pops. It was one of my favourite pops to without doubt. I love the colour tone on Yondu. I love the fact that they redone this pop and gave it to us better than the Target exclusive was before. It's got the full uh, blade on the top of his head. I really like the translucent some plastic used for the arrow where he's landing like Mary Poppins in the most classic scene in the movie. That's a great, great, great representation of this part of the film. And it's a definitely a great pop. You should have it in your collection. And I'm glad I have it in mine and it's ranked number four on my best of the year. So in at number three, guys, is the Funko Pop. Comic-Con exclusive to London uh, MCM and probably to Hot Topic in America. This is the... Doctor Strange as Ghost Rider. Now this is a pop that I fell in love with instantly. As soon as I even saw it online, these promotion shots I'm showing on screen now, I had to queue up at Comic-Con to pick this up from the Funko booth. It was well worth my time. I have reviewed it, links um, the link on my channel, so check out the link in the description below and go and find it on my channel as well. It's a fantastic pop. I love it. I love the detail they've done on the orange hair. The colour is fantastic. I really like the texture of the skin as well because it's a glow-in-the-dark pop that just adds even more to the Funko pop. I love the fact that it's on the stand and I think they've done a great job with the cape as well. They really, really, really went all out on this pop and we deserved it and they gave it to us. I'm really pleased they did. And um, go and pick it up if you haven't and check out my review. This made number three on my best of the year. In at number two, guys, is the Eric Killmonger Chase. Now, this by far was my favourite chase I picked up this year. Honourable mention to Mr Bean Chase. That came close, but this was the number one chase of the year for me. This Eric Killmonger is a fantastic Funko Pop. The detailing on that African mask from the movie he picks up at the British Museum is absolutely on point. I love it. The only downside is they didn't actually give us a different sculpt for the body, which I would have liked something a bit different, maybe in a different stance, different weapons, different pose, something like that. But overall, I really, really think this was the best chase of the year. It didn't quite make my number one spot. It was just beaten to the number one spot. But overall, guys, I love this pop. And if you have the chance to get this Funko Pop, and even if you have to pay a bit more for it, I think it's worth it. I found it luckily in HMV in London. I saw it there and I thought I'm having that pop straight away. It looks fantastic. And I like chases where there's a big difference, not just like someone's ties a different colour or they're holding a gun instead of a sword. I like it when there's a big difference in the chase and this pop has that with that huge African mask. So it's, it's a much different pop from the original we got. And that's why it makes my number two pop, guys. And there's a review on my channel of this as well, so check this out. And taking the number one spot, guys, is Spyro and Spark. Now, I reviewed this pop a couple of months back, and I said that I think this pop stole my heart. It's the number one pop of the year, and it hasn't failed me. It hasn't been beaten. When I was looking back to make this list, I thought to myself, no, Spyro... He just nicked Killmonger to the number one position. I love this pop. It's the, it's the colour, the nostalgia feel for me as well. I mean, Sparks are plus. He's a nice pop, a little uh, tiny pop there with those nice translucent wings. But Spyro in these promotional shots, the, the colour of the purple is different to how it looks in real life. It's a much richer, darker purple, and it just looks amazing representation of the character. I really do like this pop, and I just... I, I I can't sell it to you guys enough. Like I'm not even being like promoted to sell you these pops, but th I want to because I want you guys to pick this up for your collection. And Spyro is just fantastic for me. He wasn't beaten. My favourite pop I picked up this year, hands down. And they're going to have to go some to beat that for me in 2019 now. So um, let me know what you think of my list, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.